little plums welcome back to a brand new video on the channel my name is plumby and today i'm going to be bringing you guys another part of the sims 4 honey brew legacy We are starting off on a very, very clear morning today in Willow Creek. The snow should be leaving pretty soon, not just yet. Feather and Finley are currently just having some breakfast. Feather is feeling pretty stressed since she hasn't been outside in a couple of days and she's really stressed about that. Also, I gave Finley a tiny bit of a makeover. I just changed his hair and also gave him a beard. I'd imagine he really wants to kind of grow out his hair a lot and he also decided to grow out a little bit of a beard as well which I think is pretty cute. If we head on to the calendar I did actually add some of the holidays. I added some of your guys's ideas and some ideas of my own. I may add in some more holidays if I ever think up some but for now this is what spring is going to be looking like. But as you can tell today is Grand Meal Recovery Day. This day is basically just dedicated to kind of just you know recovering from your you know kind of winter fest. You don't really have to do anything today. It's more of just so my sims can have another day off of work and school. Today though is the birthdays of Willow and Fisher which oh my god time has just flown by. So far this morning Finley is just taking care of Willow and Feather is just taking care of Fisher which is really really cute. I'm now going to go ahead and actually get Feather to take Sprout on a walk since she does need to kind of go outside so she's going to go ahead and head out on a morning walk with Sprout. So Feather is now taking him out on a little bit of a snowy walk. And you guys, when I ended off the last part, Sprout actually aged up to an elder, so he is actually an old dog now, which is so sad. I love him so much, and I can't believe he's so old, which is honestly a little bit heartbreaking. But now Feather is just going to go ahead and enjoy her nice, snowy morning walk through the town of Willow Creek. I'm going to go ahead and get Finley to kind of just do some cleaning in the kitchen and then actually get started with Willow's birthday cake. I think we're going to go ahead and kind of invite over some friends. He is going to go ahead and make a sugar-free carob coconut cake. So he is going to go ahead and get started on that now. I still cannot believe that little Willow is going to be a child. I think she'll be just as crazy, but I am just like so shocked that like she's aging up so fast. I'm always going to remember her as a little baby Willow, the firstborns. I'm just, I don't know what to think about this. It's quite sad, but I'm going to miss her being a toddler. But oh well, it's fine. Here is the cake. Go ahead and add the birthday candles. Then clean up that counter, but doesn't that look so delicious? Like a good old coconut cake. Maybe not the best cake to give your children child for their birthday but either way it looks so nice i think finley's great at baking okay so feather is here and we're about to blow out the candles oh my goodness finley please do not miss this oh my goodness anyways anyways it is fine colin and mishiki are here colin is just over there but they don't really seem interested it is fine but look a little willow oh my goodness okay she's blowing out her candles we've got to get some really cute screenshots of this <gasps> Happy birthday, Willow! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I can't believe she's gonna be a child, you guys. <laughs> Willow aged up. Okay, so for the aspiration, I think she is definitely gonna be a social butterfly for sure, 100%. And for the traits, I think she is definitely a goofball, like 100%. I think that trait is gonna be one that sticks with her. She is completely hilarious. She's also very, very, very outgoing. She just loves meeting new people and that is definitely something about her which I think really fits. She is also very self-assured. She definitely has tons and tons of confidence. So yeah, so this is kind of Willow's set of traits. She is a social butterfly, goofball, outgoing, and very self-assured. I think that definitely explains a lot about Willow. Oh my goodness. Okay, the reveal. This is child Willow. Of course, I will be giving her a makeover, but she is a spitting image of a Finley. <laughs> now it's time to age up little baby Fisher, which is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, we're going to be having another toddler, which is, you know, either good or bad. I'm not too sure. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and randomize the traits. Let's see what we get. We have inquisitive and also silly. I swear, wasn't that the same set of traits that Willow got when she aged up? I think so. But Fisher is quite similar to Willow then where he is 
a little bit silly, you know, he likes cracking up jokes, and he's also very inquisitive. So he's actually very, very similar to Willow. He may even have the same set of traits. Oh goodness me, of course, there's a fire. Just look at that. Another fire. I swear to goodness, this house is extremely flammable. My god. On their birthdays as well. I swear to goodness. <laughs> Alright everybody, so I just gave Willow and Fisher a makeover, so here is the official reveal for Willow. Now I did go a little bit overboard with her outfits, but I think now she's gotten older, she has gotten even more crazy with her style. She has literally zero fashion sense, and she just likes to blend all the colours together, and that's exactly what I wanted to do with Willow. So this is the everyday wear, it looks absolutely insane, absolutely crazy, but this is how this girl likes to dress, and then we have her second everyday wear, which is just <laughs> equally as crazy i think she's always just tries to dress as insane as possible because i think it reflects her personality then we have a formal wear where she has this crazy sock and tights combo going on which i don't even know what she's doing next we've got her athletic wear which i think is pretty you know tame and then we've got her sleep wear which is a skeleton onesie which you know interesting choice willow and then of course we have her party wear which honestly looks completely insane she just wants to try and find the most craziest outfits she can <laughs> and then we have her swimwear which is more laid back and then we have her hot weather wear here which once again is just an array of colors and just a goofy look and then we have her cold weather wear which is a little bit more tame she's just been really into kind of oranges and reds right now so this is miss willow honeybrew <laughs> oh my god and now we have a little baby fisher and he is also quite silly and inquisitive but he is not as crazy as his sister i think he's still quite silly but he isn't you know as insane as her <laughs> so yeah he is honestly so adorable i love him so much he actually once again looks so much like finley he's got finley's brown eyes i think him and willow are gonna look very very similar they both do resemble their father a lot this is his first everyday wear. He really likes the colours blue and orange. And then we have his second everyday wear, which is also very adorable. I think Feather probably had more of a say in what clothing he picks than she did with Willow. <laughs> then we have his formal wear, which is pretty nice and laid back. We have his sleep wear, which is a really cute onesie. We have his party wear, which he kind of dressed up as a fox, which is pretty adorable. And then we have his swim wear, which is quite laid back. I love these armbands. They're adorable. Then we've got his hot weather wear, which is quite fun. I just love it so much it looks so cute and then we've also got his cold weather wear which is honestly the cutest thing ever i love it a lot let me know what you think of fisher's look and of course willow's look in the comment section down below but everyone is just grabbing some cake and kind of hanging out which is so cute look a little fisher toddling in <laughs> i just gave willow's room a little bit of a makeover it looks pretty plain but i tried to like dot around with like feelings of willow like she'd 100 percent have like a jacket lantern when it's like in the middle of winter <laughs> but i think willow is pretty happy with how it is looking i still cannot believe that willow like has homework now like oh my goodness i can't believe like how old she is i feel like just a second ago she was born and now she's a child with homework which i just think is crazy feather and mizuki have just been kind of chatting for a little bit and mizuki is kind of letting feather know that her and colin are now actually in a relationship they just got into a relationship and they are now together which is a really really exciting i think feather is really happy to hear that colin is now in a relationship so feather and finley and the kids had a pretty relaxed evening but now they're deciding that they're going to go ahead and head into bed so i'll be seeing you all when these guys wake up tomorrow Good morning everybody, so it is currently a really lovely light snow morning in Willow Creek. It looks so pretty this morning, like oh my goodness, look how gorgeous Willow Creek looks. Everyone is just relaxing, kind of hanging out and getting some breakfast and Willow just asked Finley for some advice. So I think that Finley would probably say both are equally powerful, I think he definitely picked that option. Oh my goodness, so her conflict resolution was increased but her emotional control decreased so that isn't too good. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get Finley to serve some pancakes for breakfast since it is New Year's Eve today so I think they're gonna celebrate with some pancakes. Feather is just taking care of little Fisher right now, just grabbing him some breakfast and he is so adorable you guys. He is definitely silly but not as silly as his sister but he is completely adorable. I love him so much. Those pancakes look so good. Oh my goodness, they look absolutely delicious. Willow does not seem to be enjoying them too much though. Oh no, I think Sprout's sick. 
a look at him. Oh my goodness, we're also going to have to take him to the vets today. I'm going to go ahead and get Willow and Feather to both head out and take Little Sprout to the vets now. It is currently 12pm and I think they want to kind of get back and celebrate New Year's Eve. So they want to go ahead and go out and take Sprout to the vets now. Alrighty, so these guys just arrived at the vets and I'm just going to go ahead and get these guys to get Sprout all cured. There you go, Willow seems to be doing it, which is honestly so adorable. We probably should have sent Willow alone, but I think right now she's a little bit too young to be, you know, going out on her own. I think Willow is going to be saying hello to all the other dogs and cats because I think she's like a huge kind of pet person. So she's probably really like saying hello to all the people and saying hello to all the animals as well, which I think is really adorable. She's literally hugging all the other pets. That is so adorable. Like, look at her. Oh my goodness, how cute. Oh, poor little Sprout. Look at him. Oh my goodness me. Willow, go ahead and oh my goodness, can we do anything? Can we like praise him? Talk to you. There we go. Go ahead and tell Sprout how proud you are of him. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've arrived back at the house. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys to just head inside. Fisher is just doing a little bit of dancing, which is really, really adorable. And Finley is just playing some chess in here, which is pretty adorable as well. I think now everyone's gonna go ahead and watch a family movie together. So we're gonna go ahead and watch A Lost Dog's Journey Home. So there we go. Everyone is just really, really enjoying watching the movie. This is such a cute little look. I mean, look at everyone. Willow and Fisher look so adorable, but they don't really seem to be enjoying the movie too much, but these two look so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and get everyone to actually make some New Year's resolutions, starting with Finley. So he's gonna go ahead. I think he wants to write a book. I'm gonna go ahead and do that one for Finley. For Willow, I'm gonna go ahead and get her to maybe become, maybe not become a better student. Oh, no, I clicked on that one now anyway. I did not mean to click on that one, but it looks like Willow wants to get up her grades. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that one, but oh well, that is fine. And with Miss Feather, I think that she wants to go ahead and raise a skill. But now everyone is just kind of chatting, you know, talking, watching the movie, having just a great family time, which I do really, really like. So Finley is now reading Little Fisher to sleep. After that, these guys are probably going to go ahead and do some dancing, but poor Little Fisher was just way too tired for that so he is going straight to bed but doesn't he look so adorable oh oh no willow is actually throwing paint everywhere okay so i think what feather is gonna go ahead and obviously discipline i think feather is super duper calm i think she's probably going to ask willow not to make the mess i don't think she's gonna like hug it out with willow since you know willow is pretty old now but i think she's just gonna go ahead and be calm since feather really isn't strict at all and I don't think she ever wants to be, so she's just gonna ask Willow not to do that again, and then probably give her a hug anyways. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, so, so, so adorable. Now I've just gotten everybody to do a little bit of a dancing, which is really, really fun. These guys can actually dance since there is apparently no room for them to dance, so they're just gonna go ahead and kind of just relax now, watch the countdown a little bit, just get really excited about the new year and everything. These guys are just gonna go ahead and do some snuggling and all that cuteness oh i love these two so much they are so adorable they're really really excited for the new year since they know that they're going to be of course getting married and lots of other fun things so they're really really looking forward to it Alrighty, so it is about to turn a midnight which is so 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 exciting willow's gotten into her pajamas for this she is exhausted she just wants to go to bed she doesn't care but finley and feather are really really excited and it just hit midnight which is a really 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 fun willow is grabbing some pancakes she's like it's the new year let me have pancakes <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and get everyone to just turn off the tv now and kind of tick that off up there since of course they did watch the countdown whether they think they did or not but these guys are just saying you know how thankful they are and everything which is so adorable and then they're probably gonna head to bed after this so i'll see you all when these guys wake up tomorrow
Good morning, everybody. So it is now officially the first day of the new year. It is currently the first day of spring, but as you can tell, the snow is still kind of here, but the days do seem to be getting a little bit brighter and a lot more beautiful. And I think the snow will probably be leaving any day now. Willow is actually the first awake today. She's just been actually doing some chores around the house, which is pretty good. But I have a feeling she's probably planning the next prank that she is going to be doing since I feel like Willow is a little bit of a prankster. She definitely likes her jokes. She likes her, you know, goofy pranks and all of that. So she's currently, as she's doing the dishes, she's planning her next prank. And I think she's gonna probably sneak in to the bathroom and she's gonna go ahead and prank the toilet, <laughs> which of course Willow is 100% going to be doing that today. Oh my goodness, oh, look at her. She's so naughty. She's like, oh my goodness, this is gonna be like the best egg day prank possible maybe she put like a rotten egg smell in it or something oh my goodness she'd definitely do that and feather has just woken up and she is gonna fall victim to this prank she is so desperate for the toilet she's gonna accidentally fall victim to willow's prank i'm so 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 sorry feather you have definitely raised a little bit of a prankster oh dear <laughs> No, my goodness. She's probably like, Willow, what have you done? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> and today's weather forecast is going to be partly cloudy and it's actually cool today, you guys. So the cold freezing weather is right behind us. Because of this, I'm going to go ahead and get Willow to head outside. I think she definitely wants to go ahead and spend some time outside now it's cooler. Although there still is snow everywhere. So she is gonna go ahead and put on her cold weather wear. But there we go. So she's just gonna go ahead and spend some time in the snow before it leaves. Fisher is also gonna go ahead and join his sister outside as well to go ahead and play in the snow, which is really, really cute. Willow's being attacked by the bees on day one of spring. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at Willow. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> she's good though. She's good. Oh, Feather's just playing with some dolls with Fisher. And then today she really does want to focus on celebrating egg day with the kids. But firstly, Feather is gonna go outside and start planting her spring plants she's very very excited that she can start planting things again all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get feather to plant some of these plants right here i'm also gonna go ahead and actually repair this little thing in a second as well little sprinkler yay feather is so excited to be back in the garden and planting again even if it, there is still snow everywhere she's still pretty happy to you know be back and planting in more warmer weather or i should say cooler weather but yeah that is so exciting whilst feather does that i'm gonna go ahead and get finley to actually put up the decorations so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now finley is just putting up the decorations whilst fisher seems to be in a pretty bad mood he isn't too happy with what finley's doing he wants finley to pay attention to him <laughs> oh my goodness guys <laughs> the flower bunny is here oh my goodness willow 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 go say hi to the flower bunny and also i also noticed that the snow is actually starting to disappear look at the roofs of everyone's houses and if you look at the ground i can start to see the earth again so the snow is actually disappearing now you guys and also doesn't the house look so cute with the brand new decorations oh my god <laughs> i'm so happy right now <laughs> look at the front of the house the snow is really disappearing now Oh my god, I'm so why am I so excited over this? I have no idea. <laughs> The snowmen are melting and everything. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and get Finley to also uh, participate in the gardening as well. Willow is saying hi to the bunny. Doesn't she look like absolutely crazy though, you guys? But Willow is just having a conversation with the flower bunny with her crazy, crazy hat on. <laughs> Fisher is also going to say hi as well, which is so adorable. He's like, hello. Oh, how adorable. So now I'm going to go ahead and get everyone to do the egg hunt. So Fisher's going to go ahead and hunt for the egg. And Willow's also hunting for the egg as well. And whilst everyone is kind of doing that, I am going to go ahead and get Feather to do a little bit of baking. She's going to go ahead and bake some cereal, marshmallow squares. I'm also just kind of getting Finley to do all the boring stuff. He's just kind of going around cleaning and everything. Just your typical spring things that fall with cleaning and all of that stuff. <laughs> Did you find any eggs, Fisher? Okay, Fisher so far isn't having much luck with finding any of the eggs. He is trying his best though. Willow's also looking. Willow, did you know eggs either? Okay, Willow isn't having much luck with finding. Oh, no, Willow found an egg. Willow found an egg. Oh my 
no, I take it back. <gasps> okay, she actually found two eggs. Fisher's found one egg. Oh my gosh, let's go ahead and put them on display. There we go. How awesome do they look? Well done, you guys. Oh my goodness, there we go. We're gonna actually put them on display over here, I think. Well done, guys. I'm gonna go and just display them there now. I am really, really proud of these guys. <laughs> I think Finley is also wanting to do some baking as well. So he's gonna go ahead and make some oatmeal cookies because he sees feather baking and he's like, you know what? I wanna do some baking as well. I'm gonna go ahead and make something too. Full on baking kitchen right now. It's like baking central in this household. <laughs> those look so good. Oh my goodness, those look absolutely delicious. Finley is actually going to go ahead and decorate his oatmeal cookies, which he seems super duper proud of. Look at him. He's like, I'm so proud of myself. Let's move them so we can actually decorate them. Go ahead and decorate those cookies. Alrighty, look at Finley decorating his little cookies. How cute is that? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What are they going to look like? Looks delicious, Finley. They look absolutely delicious. Go ahead and grab yourself a serving. I would say this was a very successful egg day. I think everyone had a lot of fun. And you guys, I think now I'm gonna go ahead and get Feather and Finley to actually try for a baby. I think I always do these so randomly, but these guys have kind of been discussing that they wanna have a third addition to the family. They love, of course, Willow and Fisher, but they really want a third kid to kind of make the household feel much more full. So yeah, baby number three should be on the way very, very soon, which is really, really exciting. I do think that this is going to be their last child. I do not think they want more than three children maybe they'll have four but i don't think they want more than three kids i think three for them is like the best kind of amount of kids that they want feather is going to go ahead and take a pregnancy test and finley is going to go ahead and just sit here waiting all right feather moment of truth is feather pregnant and oh my goodness she is so baby number three is currently on the way okay go ahead and tell finley okay go ahead and tell him okay feather is telling finley she's like finley we're gonna be having a third child which is so exciting finley of course is once again overjoyed that he just loves having kids so he's really really excited about this and i am as well feather will probably be giving birth in the next part so do leave your boy and girl name suggestions in the comment section down below for me to use for baby number three let me know what you thought of today's part what did you think of the new year's eve and you know egg day and just let me know what you thought of this part in the comment section down below i had such a fun doing today's part and i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i also now have channel memberships if you'd like to support me and the channel and get exclusive perks and content you can go ahead and click the join button to read some information or read the description box down below to learn some more as well you can become a blossom plum a sugar plum a sparkly plum or a golden plum and i would really appreciate all of the support so if you guys did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video Bye bye Thank you to all of the channel members. Thank you Ace, Kristen, Cottage Crossing, The Mint Plum Bob, Tokati, Florida, Michelle Monroe, Viviana Elise, VDC Games, Meadows Hearth, Buki Bear, Crystal Stephanie, McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Cooking Monster, Naomi Inni, Gianna Hicks, M. Howe, and Callisto Eris. I really do appreciate it.